All right, guys, today's episode, we have a screaming loud Lamborghini SVJ that went from black to red. We also have a black on red Bugatti that came in with a pretty big problem. guys we are officially finished with the Lamborghini SVJ behind me this car came to us it was black obviously and now you can see it it's completely wrapped in a gloss course of red beautiful color it does not look like a wrap we took everything apart even all the vents on the sides all the hard to get areas took them apart wrapped the insides put them back so all that has been wrapped we have the custom red and black SVJ sticker on the back we also clear broad uh, most of the carbon fiber. This car has a Novatec kit on it. The Novatec kit came in shiny gloss carbon fiber, but the factory carbon fiber was actually matte satin. So you had two tone uh, finishes on the car and you wanted them all to match. We recommended doing a clear bra. So we did a clear bra on all the matte carbon and it turned it all gloss. And there you have it, it's all matching now. This car is lowered, it has beautiful wheels. It's super loud, aggressive, belongs to one of our good clients. We're going to ship it right here with the Tone Masters back to him and uh, on to the next one. This is a Mansory Phantom actually, and this is gonna be probably my favorite build of the year already. So super excited about that. This is the fender already on there. It's already been sanded, cleaned up. There's yeah. trims that go here. Uh, the front bumper is partially on as well. We're test fitting everything. This car is gonna stay black with a lot of red accents. So super excited for that. Oh man, and look what he did here. He has this signature on it. Who said you could put your name on it? RDB, I agree, but why is your name here? Because? Because the guy that's I destroying decide, the car I, is going to... I, I decide to put him on Anyways, guys, don't worry. This is not visible. Yeah, this but it has our little... Car, yeah. So as you can see, all these little areas, bef even if it's Mansory or Brabus or whatever, you still have to do some fine tuning before paint. And that's what we're doing. But I mean, look at this front uh, face right here. This is going to be an epic build. Oh, I have the build on the chrome. Shower, homie. That's not gonna stay chrome. Huh? It's, it's gonna be black, right? Yep, it's gonna be black. Uh, but this part is going over here. Pull. That's definitely not there. That's here. Oh, this is stupid! <laughs> oh, dumb! Yeah, so I mean, this is gonna be completely blacked out. The front grill is gonna be black. It's gonna be actually two tones. It's gonna be black on the face of the outside and then the insides are going to be red so when this lights up you're going to see red from each this side is black. this is going to be black so black on red combination this car uh stay tuned this has a lot of paint work body work yes, we have a tire problem here but yep we have a tire problem on this bugatti so we don't know if it's a nail we don't know if he hit a pothole all we know is that he can't drive. So, car's here right now. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and see what we need. If we need a new tire, if we need a wheel repair, we don't know. We'll find out. Let me get one that's dangerous. Oh, no, hell no. That's bad. Okay, so uh, Bugatti tire, uh, sidewall damage, 
um, you're not supposed to fix it. Okay, so um, we're gonna get a brand new one, and uh, that's all. So the rim is fine. All we need is a new tire. That's what we're gonna do. All right guys, standing in front of this V12 S680 Maybach right here. This car, we two-tone wrapped it some time ago. As you can see, the bottom half of the car is a different color. It is a metallic matte black wrap. So the bumpers, the side got wrapped. Everything else, chrome stayed all the same. We did the Maybach emblems throughout. But really what we added right now are these wheels. Honestly, subjective, customer loves it, wanted this in particular, wanted an actual chrome 22-inch wheel with the black features on there to match the car. This is unreal. These are 35 series tires on the Maybach on 22 inch wheels. I've never seen it happen before. Everybody doubted it, but we do have 35 series tires staggered. That's a 265 in the front and that's a 285 in the rear. So this is very, very uh, aggressive tire fitment for this car. It has not been lowered and it drives with no rubbing, no modifications to the fender liner. So really that's what it's all about on this one. He wanted this look, but he wanted it to be safe and drivable. LA streets have some potholes, especially after it rains. And this car with the S-Classes, the Mybox, the front wheels are very easy to bend. So these tires are gonna eliminate that whole thing. And uh, yeah, Pirelli's 35 series, 22 inch wheels on the Maybach. Hey guys, we see this type of stuff often. Uh, this is a McLaren 720 that was purchased from I believe the East Coast somewhere. I'm not gonna say where or what, but the customer got the car and it had a bunch of issues. McLarens, as you guys already know, have issues as it is, but this one looks like it's been in an accident or two. We see the body repairs. We see the hood's been repaired, painted. A lot of the things in the back don't match up. So a lot going on with it. But uh, this car was having battery drain issue. It had uh, multiple errors on the dash, all that stuff. And it actually died right away when the customer dropped it off. Well, that's why we had this thing on rolling jacks because we could not start the car because his key fob, it did not include the manual key. So we couldn't open the hood. We had to do some tricks to open the hood. We opened it, changed the battery, took the door panel out. We saw wiring was all spliced and cut probably from an accident from changing something. So we're fixing all that and the customer is gonna gladly take it back. He just got it and he hasn't been able to enjoy it. So we're gonna fix it for him. He's got his ride back. That's it, now he doesn't, he doesn't need Uber. That's fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's worth more than his Jeep. <laughs> I like it though. This is safe, safe transportation. And he's doing a burnout. Yeah. Smoke if I put it on Fuck. He's gonna hey. make a shot. Hey. 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 You want to be on YouTube? Come, come, say hi. Say hi to YouTube. Say hi. Hi. Hey, there you go. Forever. <laughs> Forever, I serve. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I can, can, do it again? Do it again. Forever. <laughs> Forever. Fuck oh, yeah. You're going to get ran over. <laughs> the car, there's a car coming. Damn, that guy had really good energy. He's cool. He was cool. Hey guys, uh, as you guys know, we work on everything here and behind me we have a uh, older previous generation Rolls-Royce Ghost. These cars, after certain mileage, their shocks are air suspension, so they fail eventually. This car, the front shock failed and the car slams down forward when it leaks like that. So you can drive it and the wheel actually goes in far enough to make some damage. So this car had some damage in the front because of that. And uh, we had to repair all that. We got two new shocks for the front. Uh, we have a lot of stuff internally that we had to fix. It even affected the spirit of ecstasy. Uh, that's actually broken too, we re realize now. So we ordered that. All we had to do is put that on. We actually have new wheels for it too because customer had 24s on it. 
and he doesn't like the way it drives so we got some 22 inch wheels also so at the same time getting it fixed he's getting it spiced up a little bit making him better drivability all that stuff so yeah this went through insurance by the way so any insurance company you got to claim hit us up sadly uh got a flooded ford gt40 i think um, it's gt gt was, yeah i yeah, guess the 40 is the older yeah. version well it is older but there's an older older yes so this is a ford gt but it's not the new one it's a previous model which is beautiful um this one was in the customer's garage and sadly there was like a mudslide flood i don't know what and his garage got flooded like two two feet three feet um sucks because he loved that car we just did wheels on that car a few months ago and now it has the full damage so it's not only it's like mud water it's kind of nasty it's going through insurance so we're gonna see what happens with that um maybe we could buy the car back and do something like a giveaway or something i think that would be pretty big we fix the car and do like a giveaway don't forget to subscribe if you like the video thumbs up see you next time Parale.